Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been quite a minute, but I am back and I honestly miss this. Um, I made it my New Year's resolution that I was going to come back to my YouTube channel and just really be more active because I just started remembering and reminiscing on how much fun I used to have making these videos. Um, and I said to myself, I'm like, this is the year, it is 2020, brand new decade, fresh start, new beginnings, and here we are. So what I wanted to do um, is something a little more different. Like I know that I've always done more like beauty, more makeup, but I told myself like, come on, you can be more creative. So I'm really coming up with brand new ideas. So today I told myself, I'm like, I feel like they don't know me very well. Um, so I actually went online and I down, I have this picture of these questions um, that I am going to be answering so you guys get to know me a little more because it's time to break that ice so you guys really get to know who I am. So here we go. Let's get started. So this is going to be 36 questions and the first question says name like what is my name my name is Paulina my last name is Olivares my age I just turned 30 my birthday is October 30th, so I am a day before Halloween. That's always really fun. Always a costume party. It's always been like that every year since I was a kid. Number four, single or taken? I am single. My zodiac sign, you guessed it, I am a mother effing Scorpio. My fave food. This is a really hard one because I I love to eat. Like, I am not afraid to say it. I love food. Um, pizza is definitely at the top. Like, I'm always down for pizza. Always. But if I had a pick, definitely pasta. My favorite drink. Now, are we talking alcoholic? I'm assuming it is because it has a little, like, whiskey glass so there you go the emojis that's it all i'm a big whiskey and coke kind of girl i love me some jack daniels it's the best fave movie <sighs> i love watching movies but the one that sticks out at the top of my head and it's been my favorite for so many years is definitely love actually it's like rom-com slash holiday all the best things in life so it's one of my favorites last text let's see last text is a group chat with two of my friends about plans for tomorrow sunday fun day yay last call my last call i called my roommate who's i called her yesterday <laughs> That's my last call. Oh, and then the other one says last phone call. So yeah, okay, so number 10 is this last FT call. I, I'm not too sure what that means. If you guys know what it means, help a sister out, because I don't know. Last phone call, that's the next question, which I just answered that it was my roommate. Best friend, definitely my roommate. <laughs> Three dislikes. Let's see. I don't know. I There's a lot of things I dislike, but off the top of my head, definitely people that are rude. Um, that would be the main one. Um, I guess people that just talk badly about others without knowing them, that would be another one. Number three... I guess just people that are really negative, you know, like they never have anything nice to say about any situation, like always look at the bright side. That's like my biggest thing. Yeah. Three turn-ons. Are we talking about like the opposite sex? Okay. So three turn-ons, definitely a guy that's consistent. I like consistency. 
Um, number two, um, one who really, who really always just tries to look at things from your perspective because, you know, it works both ways. So just be empathetic. Just be able to compromise. That is another thing that, that really turns me on, a guy that likes to compromise. And the third one, just like, like a guy that's down for adventure. Like let's let's do things that like out of the ordinary once in a while. Like let's go. You want to go bungee jumping? Let's go bungee jumping. That's not something you do every day. Things like that. Adventure. I like free turn offs. Um, definitely one of my biggest like turn offs, especially about a guy, is a guy that's cheap. I hate that with a passion. Um, another one would be a guy that's like rude to the waiter that would turn me off in a heartbeat um, or just anyone in general but just generically speaking um, and another turn off would be a guy that like, if he's not good to his family like no someone you miss I mean I can't really say I miss anyone because I feel like if things are the way they are, you can't really miss them. So I don't know. Can't really answer that. You know, I don't really miss anyone. I mean, it is what it is. If someone's not in your life, it's for a reason. So yeah. Weirdest moment. Um, I don't know. Maybe. It's not like an exact moment I can think of, but maybe like when someone like puts me like on the spot to like, I remember always in school, I hated being put on the spot. So I would say that that's one of like, like weird moments, I guess. Celebrity crush, Gerard Butler. Yeah, Gerard Butler. Something you regret. Um, I, the one thing that pops into my head like immediately is in the sixth grade over plucking my eyebrows just because I started seeing all these girls doing their eyebrows and now I'm like what were you doing like I look back at pictures of like my original eyebrows and I'm like girl like you had like the eyebrows that everybody wants like they were nice and like thick they had like the perfect arch but you know I was 11, 12, I was like, I'm gonna pluck my eyebrows because that's what the cool girls do. That's probably my biggest regret in life. Biggest fear. I definitely uh, think that my biggest fear would be like losing everyone I love around me, like family, like that's scary. That's really scary. Two goals. I guess definitely, I just mainly working on myself more, you know, just focusing on myself, just bettering my, I mean, thankfully, I've always had the best health, you know, I just want to keep it that way. So definitely just, I guess, think of, think of myself more. Um, and another one, I mean, if we're talking about just regular goals, like I would love to buy like my own house in the city. That'd be really fun. Fave animal. I don't know, like, I think pigs are so cute, like little piglets, um, but I've always liked dolphins. They're really smart and adorable, so, yeah, dolphins. Favorite color? My favorite color, I mean, I've always been a girl, I have like pink, but, like, my favorite, favorite color, like, I do like purple a lot, too, so, yeah, purple. Last time you cried? Uh, let's see, what's today? Is Saturday? Monday? Monday night? Yeah. I mean, everyone cries. A mean thing you did. I mean, I don't consider myself like a mean girl. Um, I don't know. Can't think of anything. I mean, I'm not saying I haven't done anything mean, but I don't know. Can't think of anything right now. Memory you won't forget. I mean, I have a few memories that I know, like, I won't forget. Um, but definitely, like, girls trips with, like, uh, with, like, my friends. 
like going to Las Vegas with the girls or the time I went I went to California with my roommate that was a blast so it's just moments like that that you just that you know you no one can take that away from you so yeah teacher you hate okay I'm not in school but I mean I feel like I never really hated any teacher I mean, I feel like there were times where I'm like, oh, well, I wish this teacher would be a little better at this or this or that. But I always liked my teachers. See, I always felt like they did their job. I mean, I learned. So <laughs> food you hate. Maybe not food, but raisins. <sighs> Don't even go. No, raisins. Never again. Most annoying song. I mean, I feel like there's a lot of songs that... I think are pretty annoying but if we're talking recent there's this one song by Lizzo I'm sorry uh, if you like that song I care I can't think of a name but it's one of her songs right now that I'm like I just can't it's like overplayed way too much yeah that's it. habit um I do have this really bad habit of biting my nails that's why I try to like you know have like nice looking nails um, as much as possible so I won't go in there and bite them it's been a horrible habit since I was a kid so yeah. hobbies um, I definitely say makeup I like if there's downtime if I'm bored I'll just you know play with everything I have I have so much makeup um, it really just helps me to get my mind off of things and I you know just being with the girls um, or watching a good movie uh, I'm more of a movie person or listening to music love music ice cream or water ice I'm guessing water ice means like a slush or something because I'm just going by the emoji uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and say water ice slash slushies because Ice cream is made with dairy, and dairy just doesn't sit well with me. What you're wearing. So, yeah, I'm wearing this, like, mesh long sleeve top that I got at Forever 21, by the way. And just a tank top underneath. And that's... And... And so... <laughs> last person you hugged. I think it was my dad last night. I'm pretty sure dream job so I've always wanted to be a journalist that's been I think that's my dream job either being like a news reporter or like a magazine editor something like that that's like that's my that's my kind of thing fave character I'm not I mean this isn't very specific but I mean is it like a cartoon character a movie character a book character I mean, if it's just like any character in general, I'm just gonna go ahead and say Harry Potter. He's a badass. Yeah. All right, guys, so that is it for this video. I answered 36 questions, um, and I hope that this helps you, like, kind of get to know me a little better. And yeah, so I will be back with more videos later on. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.